Welcome back to Griffin Indiana 22 for episode 14 with me, Mr. Sealy P.
we're into January. December, I kept busy. As you saw, I did lease the logger trailer. I did all the logging. Um, we're going to do some wood chipping. But anyway, yeah, I, I leased the logger trailer. It made life a little bit easier. As you saw, <laughs> nearly rolled it over. <sighs> that was a hairy moment. And then we got this. I know I didn't talk over that bit. I was just getting so much done. And it was snowing and, you know. But, um... It came up for 43 grand. Now, admittedly, the two-wheel drive John did that was also on offer was higher horsepower. This one's 175. And the other one was 190. This has got more hours on it, to be fair, but the other one was a two-wheel drive and didn't have a front three-point link. But this one does. So I thought, you know what? If we're going to go into the new year, when contracts become available again, um... Having two tractors for hauling stuff, for doing jobs, for cultivating, whatever I'm going to do, might make life a little bit easier. The forestry worked out okay. Now, I'm, we're going to go up there in a little while because we're going to, like I say, I'm going to do some wood chipping. I have got a couple of jobs for the town. Uh, well, I'll say for the town. The first, well, the first I'm doing for me, we're going up to the main farm up here. Um, to collect what silage has been made. There's not a lot. It's a very slow process. I think it's about 13,000 litres. We're going to take that to the biogas plant to sell it. While we're at the biogas plant, we're right by the railway, and that, that logging trailer that I took down there, I unloaded, and that's on the floor. So then we need to grab a train, because I've got a contract to deliver a load, basically whatever logs I've got, um, to Mount Vernon. So a load of lumber is going to go to a sawmill in Mount Vernon, then we're going to lease because we should be okay. Like I say, I say we should be okay money wise. I mean, yeah, we'll see. We were up to about 120. I also bought a, the big bag lifter for the wheel loader. That was eight grand. And obviously, this for 43. Then, so then I sold a few more logs and we were up to 83 grand, which isn't bad to be fair. But when we get up to the plot, you'll see I've done the tree thinning. I've left all the saplings and the smaller trees there. But I've pretty much apart from leaving some trees at either end one by the road end by HH H. Mellon and one's at the top um, I cleared it of all the trees I could so it was a finite resource it, it wasn't uh, you know like it was in the western wilds where I, I you know there was loads on each plot I mean I could buy another plot because again the plots aren't that cheap so yeah I'm kind of in that position where I've expended my logging. I have left a pile of logs there and I've left a load of off-cuts off which we're going to use for carpentry which brings me to the second contract or job, should I say, for the town. I've been asked by the local carpenter, a lovely lady from Cheryl, who runs the carpenters here. Which I've actually got. I'm sure it's about 13,000 litres. And so far, okay, oh. Why did I think it was only 13,000 litres? 18,000 litres, okay, we'll take that. Maybe it was 13,000 yesterday when I checked it, possibly. Oh, I don't think we can check. Not that I'm expecting it to be anything, but there might be a little bit. The honey, it's, it's winter, it's cold, I don't, you know, the bees are going to be, you know, they're going to be hiding away, let's be honest. There we go, there's a little bit there, not a huge amount. But uh, 12 litres of honey. We'll come back and when there's more. But yeah, so the carpenter has got an idea. And we had a look at it on Western Wilds actually, but it's been a pretty cold winter so far. January's not looking too bad, but we are looking at getting more snow again, again in February. So the carpenter has suggested doing wood pellets that people can burn on their fires. So you, know, so you take the wood chip and it gets compressed down they're um, very efficient burning. They last quite a while on the fire. Uh, so I think we're going to do that. What lumber I've got left back up on the site, we're going to wood chip. Uh, I'm hoping... I think to lease the wood chipper is going to be about five grand. Four, four or five grand to lease the wood chipper. I don't know how many wood chips we'll get. It's not going to be a huge amount. There's not a ton of wood up there, but we'll do some. We'll take it to the carpenter. And then, as long as we get enough wood pellets 
Hmm, it's a gamble. <laughs> as long as we get enough wood pellets to cover the cost of the wood chipper, then we've done a. We're not going to make a huge amount of money out of it, but we've, we've, it's a service to the town. You know, we'll then sell the wood chips, and people can. That's the wood chips, the uh, the wood pellets, and um, people would heat their homes. You know, they can heat it with lumber, of course they can. You know, a lot of people probably just go out into the forest and they'll they'll get their cords of firewood and off they'll go. But it's a it's an idea the carpenter thought would give a go so why not it fits with what we're doing for the winter um yeah i know i was a bit alarmist the other day when i when i was saying about the price for uh lumber fluctuating i think it's a bit better in january the price fluctuation wasn't wasn't huge the, the, the actual diagram showing the drop the red drop and the green rise was very it was it was an alarming amount but it, it was, I think, a, a smallish amount on the scheme of things. It wasn't too bad. I, I probably overplayed it somewhat. <laughs> Let's go this way. We'll cut through off the main road. We don't want to whiff up the main high street or the main main street with, uh, with silage. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, get this to buy gas pump. So loading i won't show all of the loading it's going to take a while for the train to come it's very rarely that i've got i've called the train and it hasn't been more than like 13 kilometers away so it takes a little while but we'll get the train there and uh, i'll load up what i've got i, th I think I, I don't i don't have any train cars it might fill up one one of the uh, logging logging cars maybe but we'll still see the pole there I didn't keep hold of the log fork because obviously we were in December, what were we in December 2? We were in December 2, December 3, we were in January 1. Uh, so I've leased this time the, the larger log fork rather than a brush fork, I've gone for a proper log fork this time. So like I said, with this, we're not going to make mega money on, on the silage. Unfortunately, silage just isn't worth what it used to be, you know. Back when I were a lad, but it's money in the bank. We did the grass cutting, and any money we make, it's money we make. If that covers costs of anything, leasing of something, or you know, there you go, that will do. So this will go up. The Massey will probably go and grab the wood chipper. I'm going to get the, that wood chipper that's got the belt that goes on the side because I wanted to give that a go. Is it an efficient thing to do? Probably not, but I don't care. I'm going to do it. <laughs> there are probably other ways I could make money. I'm still stuck in that oxymoronical situation where if I make money too easily, I'm not playing the game properly. I'm cheating. If I don't make money, people are saying it's boring. <laughs> like I said at the start, <laughs> so many people clobbered me and said, you know, you're, the way you play the game has changed, and you're not, you know, you're not playing the game, I say, properly. And now I am. People are like, oh, it's it's a drag now. You're not making. It. Well, okay. I, I honestly, I I don't know what to do. <laughs> Everyone will say to me, I know they will, and they still say to me, just play the game you want to play it. And if people don't like it, so I know I get that. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, what am I doing? I'm just going to put that on. So I can see what it's saying. Oh, did we luck out or what? There was me saying it's never, I never get it that close. It's always like, is it coming that way? It is. Oh, I jammy that big time. Okay, so we can turn that off. And what I've got to make sure is I line up the, uh, the lumber cars with the ramp. We'll start loading on. It's a lot better. The sun is going to come out later on. It's a lot better now we're not... Um, put the lights on. Where are the lumber cars? Are we right there? Oh, we're right there. Look at that. If I pull forward just a fraction to about there. Turn the engine off. Lights off. Now, obviously, my rental is going to be a little bit because I don't know how long it's going to take me to load this up. Oh, look at that. 
Uh, actually, we'll get it all on that one. I think. That's why I can't wait for the um, that Volvo, that Volvo one that's coming out. It's going to be beautiful because I think that just that unloads uh, a whole bunk in one grab, doesn't it? I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Close that down a little bit. No, don't need to the back. It does have a, a that. Oh, that's brilliant. So the strap grabs the first log. That's no good. We're better off with the other one. Okay. Let's get our lights on. Yep, that's not going to work at all, is it? Brilliant. I should have stuck with the other log. Uh, the other grab because it had way better straps. I know I shouldn't be using straps necessarily, but... I'm trying to just have the reach, actually, but we'll soon find out. Should we be going, going between the stanchions? Well, that was a disaster. Oh, man alive. Come on. Right, I need to go between them. Doesn't help particularly, does it? Uh, right, what time now? There we go. Just need to give it a little bit of a nudge. Hopefully that will fall, come on. Okay, so I need to get this. Will it fit between that? I don't think it will, will it? Go over there. Just, if I get it just right within that. I suppose, yeah, it will put me more central, will it? Okay. Mount Vernon calls, and we respond. I'm going to push that one up against there, get a better scoop on this. I found this before. I think they've changed the physics on these, because I always remember these working a lot better. There we go. Going to lose most of that. There we go. I can line that up in there. And then bring it down. There we go, that's better. Find the power lines. <laughs> That'd be just like me, wouldn't it? Make 11 grand on the log and then get a bill for 30 grand for fixing the power lines, you know. <laughs> That'd be just dandy. There. Hit it with a bit of oomph. Come on. I have to say, I did think I was going to need to get a weight for the back of this, but it's actually been really good. So, as you can imagine, I've got more to load up. So I'm going to get the rest of that loaded on, and then we'll get this sent on its way. Then we'll head up to um, head up to the plot. Oh, no. we have an errant one. 
Does this have straps? I'm assuming it does. Got one I can pick up myself. Happy days. Have we got straps on this? Oh, oh yeah, we have. No. It doesn't like it, does it? Come on. Stay on there. There we go. Leave that strap there. Okay. Um, grab that one first, I think, and then we'll, we'll tidy up. Like I say, I think, um, other than Goldcrest Valley, when I, um, when I did the log in using the overhead crane to load up the train, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever done loads of the train like this in the game. I'm, I'm, I'm racking my brains. I don't think I have. We are heating homes, people. We're heating homes. Well, I'm assuming this lumber's going to be used for that. Could be going to the building industry, could be going for anything, I don't know. Come on, grab what you can. There we go. We're loaded. Uh, rule of thumb, don't put the straps on until it's fully loaded. Because once the straps are on, anything I put on top just seemed to jostle and go all over the place. This lot, horrendous. That one, not so bad. We are loaded. I have already placed my lease order with the store for the wood chipper and the little conveyor belt. This is going to go up to the um, logging plot. That will go up to the logging plot and then I'll go to the Massey to take the other one up and then we'll... I don't think the wood chipper requires a huge amount of horsepower. I can't remember. And then we'll deliver the wood chips to the uh, the carpenters and then I, I can't remember how long it takes to process but that may not be today. Oh yeah, I was going to say the uh, watermelons are going well. Um, it's because it's been so cold I haven't had to pay for refrigeration. <laughs> They've stayed on the farm doing quite well. Talks are progressing, so um, hopefully, as we move into spring, someone from Frey Farms is going to come out and assess our watermelons, um, and then, with a bit of luck, they'll come and collect them, and they'll get sent off. Like I said, still, I have to invest in a, you know, a point of sale, but we can do that. Let's see what we get for our our lumber. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be about 15 grand. It's not going to be. It's not going to be mega money, but hey, they asked for a load. We're sending a load. And if nothing else, from doing the logging up there, we covered the cost of leasing various different bits of equipment. We've covered the cost of leasing the wood chipper now. Plus, we got a, a John Deere out of it and um, a, a, a big bag handler. So. The way I'm looking at it, as long as we come out of the winter not worse off than we were started, and, and we haven't already. So, um, what? 44 grand? I was thinking like 11 to 15. Forty-four grand. Oh. <laughs> it's not often I'm speechless, but what's what? What? Okay, now I'm going to have to check. And we're in January, so I'm assuming the wood price is back up. But even so, Mount Vernon, one thousand and thirty. Okay, that's all right. I'm, yeah, blown away. Right, okay, well, I'm, I'm smiling. That's brilliant. Uh, I'm going to move the equipment. We'll grab the Massey, go and get the wood chipper. 
We'll get that up. Like I say, I've got a load of odds and ends, and there's, there is a pile of wood, so I'm still going to need that log grab. Um, I, I could use the chainsaw, and I could just cut it up into small enough chunks so I can throw it into the wood chipper um, manually, but then what's the point of having the little um, the little conveyor belt that goes with it? That that makes will make life so much easier. Um, yeah, I'll see you up there in a bit. We have the wood chipper, we have the conveyor belt. I'm going to show you, um, I'll show you the plot when we get there. We're going to come in from the HH mill inside because I cleared, like I say, right the way down to the road, although I didn't clear the trees right opposite. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's bare. I cleared everything I could. Uh, we'll come in just here, I think. Try and get this in, hopefully. I have also leased the oh, a stump grinder, uh, mulcher type type dealio. Uh, we've got that on the front of the John Deere because I oh, there are stumps everywhere. I've got to be careful. So let's just leave that there for a second and I'll show you what I mean. So these are odds and ends branches from one of the big trees. I've got loads of poles of little wood like this. Um, I left the smaller trees and. Now, as I said I was going to do before, I've got a few logs there. Just little piles of just odds and ends. Um, like I said, I left the ones down by the road. Um, but all of these... Smaller trees, ones that, you know... So I've cleared open the area. These will get a chance to grow. The real small ones get a chance to grow. It was just thinning, that's what we were doing. So yeah, I cleared everything I could, really. Uh, there's another little pile of wood there. I'll get to later on. The plots either side are quite expensive, so I, mean, I could do more, I guess, but at the end of the day, I've got this log pile here. So these I could have taken, I could have sold for lumber, but I thought we'll keep those for wood chipping and the other odds and ends I've got knocking around. So what I've got to do now is try to remember how to set this up. I might, I might need to get the uh, the menu open. I think the best way around of putting this. Um, actually, I might get rid of that stump. Move this trailer. I think I'll put it to the side slightly. That way I can do the pile a little bit easier. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out. No, not that one. That one. Is this the... Oh, okay. I think I might have got the devourer by mistake. Oh, it still does. It will still do the, the stumps. We're going to get the stumps out of the way. I couldn't work out what it was asking me about. A pipe. What are you talking about? You lunatic. Oh, more stumps and trees. Right. Let's get the lights on on that. Give ourselves a bit more light. So, I think what I need to do first is put the conveyor belt where I want it and then line up the I'm trying to think and then line up the thing from there. Is that how I did it? Do it? Sure. Put that about there. Disconnect that. Then that goes to the sides, does it? Because that's to attach, doesn't it? No, I can't remember. Did, did, does the thing need to be open for it to attach, or does it attach like that? I think it might need to be open, mightn't it? Uh, pipe out on that. Unfold wood chipper. Now we're given the option to attach. There we go. So we attach that to that. That's right, isn't it? Uh, what else do we need to do? That's it, isn't it? We can turn that on, we're ready to go. Can move the pipe. So we put the pipe over there. Yeah, if we put the trailer back, the trailer up to there. 
Which this has worked way better. I thought it was going to be right. Okay. So we take that. Nope. Mind the pile. Mind the stumps, mind the trees. <laughs> minefield. Right, pack that up to there. Turn that off. Are we good to go? Never. Surely not. Okay, right. I suppose what I'll do first, before I turn it all on, let's grab a log. They are quite long. Actually, I suppose what I could do, maybe... Oh, no, we'll grab a one. I don't know if some of those really curly ones down there are going to work, so I might have to chop those up a little bit. So this is going to be another one. Actually, you know what? We might we might fill this trailer. I'm thinking... I didn't think we would, but now I'm thinking, you know what? We might just do it. Uh, let's get in there. Grab that log. I might need to turn the massy out of the way a little bit, so I'm not in the way here. But it might be alright. Straight if I can. Okay. And then... <laughs> Get in! How much, how much wood chip wise? Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, we are going to more than fill the trailer once, aren't we? I honestly didn't think with the amount of trees I left over, I thought oh, I'm not really going to that much of a chance really let's see actually I'm curious because all these odds and ends normally you throw these onto something and they're just not worth bothering with a lot of the time what did I pick up here? that's weird I put it there okay none of these will pick up now what is happening okay I might have to just use a grab or something will I get any chips in these little ones if not I might have to just mulch of you know oh no hey oh happy days in you go my friend in you go chippy log stocking I suppose I could oh no What's the point? I've got the thing there. There might be a few more in there I can pick up by hand. Oh, uh, that's not like enough very much. And it's not doing anything now, is it? Get any more chips on there? Nope, brilliant. That was a waste of time. Actually, I might turn the beacons off. Do you have the beacons on? Possibly. Uh, right, okay, we're good. So, let's see that running. Grab another log, get it on, or another couple, or whatever. Just thinking I might go from the other side so I can go thick to thin. Or mind you, they seem to be all over the place, don't they? Tell you what, doing this could work out quite, quite profitable. 
I am glad there's more stuff now for for wood chip. You know, it's one of those things that if you if you would if you had a map that was friendly to our wood chips, it was all right. But some maps, you know, a lot of maps you don't really get a lot for wood chips. But that being said, now because there are a few different production chains that take them and use them, no, come on, don't fall off there. Silly boy. There we go. There we go. Keep going. I'm curious to see them, actually, how we're looking on the woodchip front. 8,000. That first log was, was the better one of them. So, as you can imagine, as I always say, and I always do, I've got a bit more to do here. Oh, what's happened to my... Uh, whoa, that's horrible. What happened there? I seem to have a mechanical failure. What is happening there? Whoop. Um, did this happen? I had one of these, didn't I? On last bet, on 19, and it did the same thing on there. What's going on? That's awfully yeah, done that. That's horrendous. My case is broken. Off to the workshop we go then. Let's drag that out. There we go. Right. Remember, heating homes, people, heating homes. We're doing this for the right reasons. This is not just for financial gain. Although it doesn't hurt if we have a bit of financial gain. We have our first full load, 22,500 litres. I'm not going to lie, I, I didn't even think we'd get a full trailer load. Um, so we're off to carpentry. You may not have noticed it before, um, Cheryl is fairly new to the area and has set up shop not far from the farmer's market, actually between the farmer's market and um, Webb's scrapyard. So that's where we're heading. We'll dump our stuff off and yeah. We'll go back and I, I reckon we'll get at least another full load, if not three, which is pretty cool. The stump grinder out right on the front of this, what I did on my way out, I, I ground stumps on the way out to give myself a track through without stumps being in the way. On the way back in, I'll pick it back up again and I'll cut some more uh, stumps out on the way through just to make it a little bit easier to get in and out. And then we'll clear the site. I'm just trying to think, which one do I need to turn down? I think by webs, or I could turn down here, I suppose. Let's turn into one. I think it's the next one on the right. Oh no, hang on, have I gone too far? I don't know, it's around here somewhere. There we go. On the right hand side, farmers markets there, Webbs is just over there, just here, amongst the bushes. What we'll do is turn in just here. And we shall start overloading wood chips, I guess. And then hopefully. We can get some pellet pallets. I'll hop out, go and speak to Cheryl. Awesome. What a lovely lady. Has an amazing singing voice too. I'm sure she wouldn't mind me saying. So, back up. Carry on. And then we should get some uh, some pellets. Oh, look at all these little, these little back streets and alleyways.
Yeah, I'm all good. All good. Oh, it's a lovely day. And I mean, it's one of those things, isn't it? I've, and I've said this before about snow in the game. When it snows, it goes so grey and it's so dark. And you know, if the snow settled, I wouldn't mind because it's great. It's not. It's nice having snow on the ground. But it's when it just does that constantly and then it, nothing happens. Like, ugh. but this is nice. Crisp, cold January. Yeah, we're still morning. Just about nearly into the afternoon. It's been quite productive so far. Very happy with that. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. I was looking at maybe. Oh, yes, hang on. That's what I was going to say. Let's just pull off to the side of the road. Ooh, that's a bit of an incline. Uh, equipment. Look, there's a good Le Matador six metre roller. Now, we haven't had any rolling contracts, but we haven't done any sewing contracts yet. So I don't know whether it might not be about a 60% off to invest in that. For 5,947? I'm just thinking of increasing our inventory, you know, of getting more gear. Now we've got pellets on the go. We haven't sold any of our watermelon yet. You know what? I think it's a sound investment. Let's get that. But the other thing I was going to say was trailers, a semi-trailer. Um, under here... got these couple so you've got that semi trailer there 35,000 litre for 27,500 I always think if you get more capacity than the price I think it's well worth it that's nice and that would I think that would fit really not it's not a huge capacity however that one if we go to that 45,000 litres for 30 grand I'm just thinking for when we get back round to doing contracts, harvesting, anything at all, our trailer at the moment's 22. That doubles our capacity and it also um, gives us something for our lorry to haul. I'm just thinking it, that's probably not a bad investment either. It'll be, I'm trying to think, have we, have we bought anything brand new yet? Oh, our little trailer. Our little um, bale trailer was new, wasn't it? Everything else is second hand. Every, everything we've got. Yeah, the Jeep, the Case, this, the Massey, the Fertiliser Spreader, which I haven't even used yet, but that was a really good price and I couldn't pass up on that. Yeah, everything pretty much is second hand, so that'll be a a new purchase. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Imagine that, something new. Right, anyway, uh, I need to go and carry it. Hopefully, by the time we get back with the next load, we might have a pallet of pallets. Mm, I don't think actually. Fingers crossed. I have to say, those four or five piles of logs, just the offcuts that I'd sit in there, branches and stuff like that, normally what I would do is when I cut those, um, the branches I cut up into tiny little chunks, and when you do small enough chunks, they disappear because they're just kind of in the way. I'm glad I kept them. That, this full load, this is load number two, 22,500 litres, was all made up of offcuts. I haven't even been back to that log pile yet. All those long, those bigger branches, we haven't got a thing yet. We haven't got a first pallet, but second load in. Actually, I didn't even look at the recipe for um, the wood pallets. I can't remember what it was. Let's have a look, shall we? So wood pellets, four to seven. So we get more wood pellets than the, the wood chip we've put in. Oh, there you go, 792. So we're not far off. See, that's interesting. That, I suppose it's a four to seven. That's why I'm just thinking that's 12,000 cycles per month. But the recipe is relevant as well. Because if we go up to the silage there, that's 24,000 cycles per month. But that's one grass to 0 0.6 of silage. So we're getting less silage in the recipe, even though the cycles per month are more. So I was just thinking with the, um, the silage, I'm not getting as much as I thought I would. Anyway, regardless of all that, it does mean if we wanted to, we can bring wood here and we can do pallets. Uh, pallets. We can do planks. 
and we could do furniture as well at the carpentry but this was really what I was kind of aiming at doing so uh, I'm going to go and get the next load and we'll see where we end up hopefully by the time we've done the last lot um, we might get another full load I thought we'd only get two loads maybe three I reckon we could be looking at three in a bit now and we might have a, a pallet which is brilliant Obviously, I keep saying heating homes. That's the long-lost brother of Sherlock and Mycroft. But um, you're welcome. It's been a while. I've done a few episodes. I haven't. I haven't put one in, have I? So we have to have a dad joke.
It's 2.37, we're starting to lose the light again. The days are so short. But if you look over to the right, we've got three pallets of wood pallets already. I thought I'd get two. Maybe three loads. What did we end up with? Six? Now, admittedly, this is full. Did I cut down a tree that was borderline when I said about leaving the saplings and some of the ones that weren't fully mature I might have cut down one that wasn't quite ready yet just to get another full load I know it's obsessive but we're done the area is cleared I've been round I've taken all the stumps out so the area is clear it's good to go for whatever happens next I mean that's not up to me it's not my land I just had access to thin it and that's what I've done. So let's bring around there. I suppose what we'll have to do now is go and grab a trailer and um, look at getting rid of some of these pellets. What I might try, because as far as prices go, um, wood pellets, there we go. Mount Vernon, Illinois, will take them, apparently. So I don't know, so I'm not sure if you can strap them down or not. I don't know whether or not to grab the train, just as a test, grab one pallet, put it on and send it off. Because I could send it, I've got the selling station, the one that we've got down by the um, grocery mart. So potentially, we could do that, I need to get all my machinery back. Um, and I'm going to need to grab the forks or my bag handler. Actually, I can go that way, can't I? Or my bag handler for the um, for the wheel loader. I need to take the wheel loader into the uh, machine shop and work out why it's all gone a bit weird at the front. But our foray into forestry, for the time being at least, is done. We did our login in the previous episode. We sold some lumber to the um, lumber sell point. The 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 mill, sawmill, where is that? Over there somewhere. Um, when that was full, I then took some to the cell point, which took them. We then did a full load out to Mount Vernon, Illinois. I say a full load, we did a load, which paid me way more than I thought I was going to get. Then the wood chipper, that was worth its weight in gold as well. For, what was it, five grand. I think it was about five grand for the wood chipper and the um, extension. The amount of wood chips we got, and like I said, all those offcuts, all the bits and bobs you think, no, you don't need those, it's not a full log for for wood chipping, for wood chipping, absolutely golden. That's what we're looking at at the moment. Wood chips, 132,000 litres of wood chips. That's fantastic. For something that I thought would be a byproduct and I might get 30, 40,000 litres of wood chips, that's brilliant. So uh, I think what I might do is just move these out of the way for the time being. Can I pick these up? Probably shouldn't be able to, but I can. So I could move these to one side just for the time being, and then we can collect them later on. Let's just put them there. And um, we can load a trailer up when we've got a load more. Because, like I said, February, we'll check the weather now. But February's looking pretty bleak, I think. Let's go to our weather. Yeah, today we're up to 10 degrees. The temperature's warmed up a little bit. And if we look down the bottom, January 2, January 3, not too bad. February, though, what's weird, it's saying 7 and 8 degrees, but snow. Um, but minus 11, minus 6, potentially. So I think yeah, it might warm up during the day. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But that will definitely help, regardless of what we decide to do. But that is the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.